We don't prep right in Egypt. We don't give enough time for, for the pre-production. We do it like very quickly, we do it on the go, we don't concentrate on it. And this is very, very extremely important to the industry. It's, it's the real work happens in the pre-production. Definitely I try to avoid shooting in the midday, at least from 11 to 2. I try to, to do something indoors, I try to stop completely and wait for the right moment and to be very fast just to catch what we lost uh, of the day. And I aim to use the good light in the morning and uh, in the evening. And otherwise, if I have to shoot, uh, I just cut the sun and try to deal without the direct sunlight. But this is hard because it takes a lot of time and a lot of heat to equalize the, the light in the background and the light you're using. It's very hard on the actors. So I try to avoid shooting at this time, but it, <laughs> it, yeah, it doesn't work all the time. Sometimes you have to deal with it, yeah. In ads, it's very easy to use uh, the available light, but in films, because sometimes the scene takes a lot of time and the light changes all the time. So I try to, uh, yeah, if I, if I like the, the, the available light, I just, I copy it and do it with my lighting tools just to be consistent. Or if I can, if the scene is short and I like the available light or I can add only one light to, to, to set up the right mood, I do that. And we're very lucky now with the digital technology, the cameras are very sensitive. And yeah, in the back days when we used film, although I love it, but it was much harder using the, the, the film camera. Yeah. Yeah, the, the length of the film and the sensitivity of the, of the film stock wasn't that sensitive in the back days and we needed to, to play it safe, so you light everything, everywhere you go. Now you can actually, you turn off some lights if I'm shooting like uh, night exterior, I choose the right angle, the right light and everything and you start switching off some of the, the lights in the streets and stuff like this just to give it some contrast. So you're not adding, you're eliminating. In the back days we used to work on film and the labs here were not very good. So we had like 40% down of the quality just from the lab. So and now after the digital technology came, it's we're like equal. We're starting winning this 40%. Those were the, the, the main differences. And the other one was there's something you can do about it. It's about the weather and the angle of the sun and the high contrast at summer and stuff like this and you have to deal with it. Because here the at summer the sun is, it goes right up to your head in like two hours after, three hours after the sunrise and stays there for, for the, the most of the day. So you have to deal with it and to plan very well to, to catch the right angle of the sun, to deal with this hard situation if you want to. And, and I try to aim to, to shoot most of my films at winter because at winter the, the angle of the sun is a bit better than, uh, than the sun at summer.